The i9-9900K and i7-9700K are coming soon, with some crazy benchmarks. Intel's new microcode update could spell serious performance loss, and NVIDIA's large format monitors are f***ing expensive. So stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMelt. Before we get started, if you like keeping up with all things gaming hardware, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Now on to the news. Intel's 8-core CPU has been rumored, leaked, and just about everything in between, and it's finally about to be released. Both the i9-9900K and i7-9700K were listed on centralpoint.nl for pre-order, with stock expected on September 7th. And if you notice the price, don't worry. For one, they've since been taken down, and they were probably priced like that with the hopes of selling a few to overly eager customers. Let's just hope that date is right though, since earlier leaks point more towards October. While staying on the topic of Intel's next generation CPUs, CPU.Zoll shared some benchmarks on the i7-9700K, and it gives us some nice details. First, it shows that Intel's rumored next gen CPUs can run on a Z370 motherboard. Even more interesting, it reveals an all-core overclock of 5.5 GHz on water. That's right, we aren't talking liquid nitrogen or anything like that. Now keep in mind that the 9700K is an 8-core, eight 8-thread eight CPU, and at this clock, it was actually able to hit around the same multi-core Cinebench score as the Ryzen 7 2700X, along with an unbelievable single-core score of 250 and it's nearly guaranteed that those clocks are only possible because Intel finally opted for solder, at least according to leaks. Fingers crossed this could force AMD to release their fabled 2800X. Next up for today, Intel seems to be having some serious issues with their new microcode update to mitigate the Spectre and Meltdown vulnerabilities. Why? Oh, because at first they only put a literal gag order for anyone who used it, demanding they not show benchmarks or comparisons. Now, I said it first because they pretty quickly worked to remove it, and it very well could have been just an eager lawyer or something along those lines, because Intel knows they're simply asking for users to do it the second they say that. Either way, there was a reason it was initially there, and from what I've seen, users on older Intel CPUs may need to expect a pretty huge drop in performance, but definitely subscribe to stay up to date as the story unfolds. Lastly for today, we've got some new information on Nvidia's big format gaming displays shown off earlier this year. According to Hardware.info, who spoke with some of their partners at Gamescom, they've been delayed until next year. And that's not the only bad news. According to Hardware.info, they're expecting prices to be around four and five, wait for it, thousand euros. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely can't afford that anytime soon. Not sure about you. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Bummed about Nvidia's large format monitors or excited about Intel's upcoming 9700K? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.